When it comes to the subject of high track hook baits, most people think of bright coloured baits. They see a lot of people fishing with white and pink and bright yellow, and they definitely, definitely work, but on, for warier carp or more pressured waters, there is another way that you can add attraction to your hook baits, and I'm going to show you that today. So I want to try and stick with a, like a food-based um, hook bait rather than a, a fruity one or a bright one, but I still want to add some extra attraction and try and draw the carp into my hook bait. So we're using the mainline hybrid today. I've been using this with some success over the last 12 months or so. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we've got a little empty pop-up tub and we're going to take some of the hook bait enhancement, the boilie dip. PVA friendly this stuff, so if you're using PVA and hooking it on, it won't, it won't melt your PVA bags. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a fair dollop of that in there, like that. I'm just going to cover the bottom of the boilie pop-up pot with it, work it round so it's covering the bottom of the pot. Next thing I'm going to do is take some of this, and this is where it's a little bit different. This is the uh, what's called called the activator. This is the hybrid activator, and basically, this is the neat liquid that goes into the base mix with the boilies when they're rolled in the factory. This is the the food-based liquid. This very, very, very concentrated, very, very strong, very potent, very attractive. Uh, so you only need a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of this. Now, since I've started adding this to my dip, it's it's really, really made a difference to uh, to to my catch ratio in the last six to eight months. So I'm just going to tip a weeny bit, a mil maybe, in the, in the cap, and just add that into my boilie dip. And straight away there you can see that we've got a nice differentiation in colour. So it's much, much darker than the boilie dip. It gives, gives the hook baits a really nice colour, darkens them off. Next thing we're going to add, last thing now, is a bit of this stuff, which is multi-stim. It's, uh, it's an additive again, liquid additive. It's very thin, this. Uh, drives them absolutely crazy. They love this stuff. It's good in PVA bags as well. I like it on my hook baits. So we're just going to stick about half a cap full of that in as well. And you can see there, it starts to thin it out a little bit. So that's our mix. And all I'm going to do now is just put the lid on the pop-up pot and just give it a good swish round. So it's all even because you've got some thick oils in there, you've got some medium and you've also got some very thin stuff, it's like watery. So you want a whole lot together in one piece. And then it looks like that. And then all we're going to do, and this will work with any hook baits, you use your pop-ups, you can use it with uh, your dumbbell hookers, your bottom baits. I've been using a, a little wafter rig lately with a hook ring swivel which has been doing really well. So I've got the balanced wafters here in, in the 14 mil, 14, 15 mil, these ones. The bigger of the two sizes. And I'm not going to do hundreds because I want a nice uh, even coating. So I'm just going to do a few at a time. I'm just going to put six or eight hook baits in there. And give it a good shake. Make sure you give it a really good shake because there's not a huge amount of liquid in there. You don't want too much liquid because if they take loads and loads of liquid on, they're going to get really heavy and they won't waft properly above the hook anymore. So you just want a nice coating. And there we go. So if I show you how they look now and how they looked before, you can see there's a real difference. They've got a little bit of excess liquid there, so you can take these out, drain them. The other option is to use the rest of the liquid up. So you can add a few more hook baits. Screw it on tight again, give it a really good shake, get a nice even coat. And these have got some real pulling power now, some serious pulling power, the neat additive. And there we go, you can see there. And just by adding a little bit of the activator, oh, they smell amazing. Now what I tend to do with mine is I'll get a whole tub of wafters, I'll get a whole tub of 15s, a whole tub of 12s, the smaller ones if I'm fishing over really small particles. I've got one of these little mini clip lock boxes, I make up my mix and these have been sitting in the shed now for about two months and look at the colour they've gone. They're, a, they're, a, they're like a guaranteed bite, done so so well on these. Uh, you can tip them off with 
you know, with colours if you need to, but I tend to not bother. I just fish them as they are and try and use the liquids for a bit of extra pulling power rather than, than the bright colours.